Good evening and salutations, my GH fans. You know, I got to sit there and say, this was actually another good episode. I felt like my only bit of issue is that it felt like it was kind of cramped in, right? It felt like it was a little kind of cramped in. It was still a good episode, but it felt like it was a little kind of cramped in, particularly the Nino, Wiley, Willow, um, Maxi, and Spinelli scene. Maxi pretty much just kind of getting an update on um, what's been going on with Carly and Jason, and why Jason was doing what she was doing. And I get they need to find a way to let... They're going to have to one day stop that. <laughs> they're going to have to one day stop that. They, they're going to sit there and be like, hey, listen, just go to Wikipedia, go here to find out what's been going on the last couple of days because... Is this a pet peeve of mine? It's always been a pet peeve of mine. And I get it from a new person that's just watching, but... <sighs> um... Willow thanking Nina for, you know, getting an intro to uh, McConkey, which <laughs> you find out later on in this review, it just, uh, it's just kind of pointless now. It's all sorts of pointless. So, Anna is wherever the WSP um, VA headquarters is at. And she's sitting there talking to one of the assistants or whatever, and she's like, yo, where's Jack at, you know? She's asking questions. She's asking for requests to sit there and talk to somebody. And this guy's just stonewalling, just stonewalling, stonewalling. He was like, hey, you know, listen, I'll make a call or whatever, and i have to get back to you. And, and I was like, no, I can wait. I'm good. I'm, I'm just going to sit there and sit right here. And then the door opens up. And there he is, Jack. Just... Hanging out, being like, hey, what are you doing here, pretty much? Now, Dante was also snipped there calling the hotel. Because I think at one point, Jack was staying there, which was going to probably sit there and say that they had no records there either. So, Anna comes in there, and it's like, oh, so not only are you out of jail, but you are practically just kind of, you know, once again running the show. And so she connects the dots about how she, how he got out. Um, you watched the episode for that, but she pretty much kind of just nails it to a T. Now, John, Jack, whatever the hell his name is, doesn't exactly confirm it. He's just like, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's an interesting theory. Um, pretty much how he kind of ping pong between Pikeman and the WSB, which is actually pretty clever if that's how he went about it. But Anna does sit there and say, so what do you got on John? And just let him know, hey, listen, this guy has been going rogue. He actually came out to a friend of yours, you know, Carly Spencer, a.k.a. Car I'm never going to sit there and get used to Spencer. I'm always going to call her Corinthos, but... Um, so you talk about that for a little bit. And then, the, well, the court case is about to start, right? And, of course, Michael stops Sonny from, you know, laying hands on him. And, um, you know, just kind of just walks him away. Molly is still dealing with him. You know, John is like, you know, you're stonewalling this, that, and the third. And once again, Molly, with her newly found backbone, just sitting there reading this man his rights pretty much. And it's just like, hey, you know, at the end of the day, you want those records? Make a, make a formal request. There was a point where She's not even calling him out on his abuse of power and being like, hey, listen, what's what's going on with you? Don't you have anything that's going on? Like, you seem like you're just coming at him for, for personal reasons. And John is like, hey, listen, we've been investigating for years. We've been investigating this guy for years. So while he's like, well, if that's the case, then what do you, what do you need me for? <laughs> like, like, what do you need my stuff for? You, you, you already got everything that you need. Apparently, you've just been sent this thing. You've been investigating for years. So what's the problem? So eventually she walks off. This guy comes in, this prosecutor, whatever his name is. Um, so the trial is about to get started, and Diane makes it perfectly clear because she got she. I'm like Diane, you might want to sit there and just kind of slow down, use smaller words, whatever you gotta do to make her understand. 
and she pretty much is like, don't talk to him, don't look at him, just follow me. How even her own family agrees, like, no, you gotta you gotta kinda of stick to the script on this one. Um so the court case starts and you know, Diana's like, you know, I'm I'm wanna sit there and dismiss the whole case. She gives us reasons why. And some guy comes in and talks to the prosecutor, and then when the prosecutor comes up, Prosecutor was like, "Yeah, you know, I, I I agree with her. We should we should totally dismiss the case." And I'm just like, "What the?" F-? Even John is like, "Uh, what was, what was what, what's going on?" Long story short, that tape that the jackal said that he couldn't get, yeah, apparently it just disappeared. Just go on, just like that. Just can't find it. So John was like, what do you mean you can't find it? He's he's pissed. And at one point he's like, you know, I got a backup copy in my room. I can just go and sit there and get it. Diane's like, no, 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 no. That's 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 not how that works. <laughs> okay, that's that's no, no. We we're not using that. Um there's procedure to follow. And long story short, the judge just dismisses the whole case. So Carly goes free and uh <laughs> What the f- <laughs> uh, Once again, Carly goes free. Untouched. Consequences. John is pissed off. The judges at this point has to sit there and read him like, yo, listen, you keep doing this. You're being content. It's content, by the way, when they, you have to like Give up money or go to jail or something like that where they find you or something like that. I don't, I don't, I think it's when they, they find you a certain amount of money. But pretty much the judge is like, you know, you, you keep it out. So they look into you. Oh, even, even the, uh, the prosecutor was like, you know, we're, we're going to be sitting there looking into this guy moving forward. So it's dismissed, everyone's hugging and everyone's like smiling and stuff like that. And John walks up to um Sonny's like, hey, listen, I'm gonna get you. Next time I get you, I'm taking those two with me. And you know, Sonny's just like, mm, yeah, okay, whatever. Um This is after he walks over there, he's like, oh well, this isn't over. Michael's like, nah, it looks pretty over to me. So he leaves. He's pissed, right? Everyone's sitting there celebrating, about to sit there, ready to go to Wally's party. And Michael's like, hey, listen, we're about to go to the party. You want to go in? You want to join? And Sonny's like, have y'all, have y'all lost your minds? Now, I'm sitting there thinking what he was going to say was that recording just didn't disappear by itself. Okay? So whoever made it disappear, we got we to gotta sit there and look into that. We got to look into that. Things don't just happen out of nowhere. I thought that's what he was going to sit there and say. Instead, he just pretty much reads Carly and he reads Jason. Carly being like, you should have told me. I could have did something. I could have tried to help. And Jason, you should have told me about John. I could have put a whole stop to this. And I didn't. And he's like, you know what? Listen, I'll sit there and deal with John myself and just walks off. And on some level, he's not entirely wrong. The thing is, he felt like he was hurt. He felt like y'all couldn't even sit there and come to me when the chips is down. Yeah, y'all just didn't. Y'all didn't re- really didn't trust me. Y'all really think that low of me. Now, yes, I could sit there and say meds, right? Maybe on some sort of level, he wasn't entirely wrong. He wasn't entirely right because he's he's sunny, you know. But he's not entirely wrong either. If you, if you look at it from Sonny's point of view. Um, now, Molly was sent there talking to Dante about John and everything, and Alexis comes in um, to talk about how she practically got her law license back. Molly and Alexis talk about the whole Christina thing. And what Alexis winds up doing is now she's making, now she's playing peacekeeper for Christina, just like she did with Molly. She's sent there telling I mean, yeah, she's not there telling Molly, you need to sit there and chill out. You need to back off. 
Because the more you sit there and keep pushing, the more she's going to sit there and keep digging the heels in. Then she talks about how the hormones or whatever is making her act kind of crazy. But in the end, she's going to sit there and, and kind of, you know, keep her promise. And it is funny, too, because as she says that, there's a large part of her just like, I don't even think that she'd believe in some of the stuff that she's saying. Because of the way that Christine has been snipped to talk. Talking about the whole interview and her being like, oh, well, she should have known better. She should have asked me this, that, and the third. And it, woulda, coulda, shoulda. Now, her thing is also, well, she let the world know that that baby was 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 hers and Christine, hers and, and Blaze. And I'm like, so? So what if they sit there and think it's, it's theirs? It's not going to matter when a child comes into this world. Child's going to be going to you. So why are you sitting there getting so hung up on the details of whatever they misinterpreted? Or the fact that she didn't sit there and respond the way that you and her heard her respond. At the end of the day, it happened. It is not the end of the world. And that's practically what she sit there and tells her. Now, everyone's working theory, and including mine, do we have new information, is that John did it. That Jack did it. What the f Is that Jack did it? You know? Head of the WSB. Thanos that whole tape. Was really cool with Carly. Carly apparently just had that effect on men. So, um... Question is, though... Did that for her? What is he going to want in return? What is he going to want in return? Also, Anna did sit there and ask about Valentine. You know, was he okay? Was he kind of just sitting on the beach with his daughter or whatever? Did he just sit there and just leave him hanging out to dry or whatever? That is the question. Um, because we don't we don't know much about John Jack. <laughs> we don't know much about Jack. Yeah, he was gonna sit there and zip tie Carly, but would he would have killed her? Probably not. Would he have killed Anna? Who knows. I feel like that's about it. Let me just double check my notes. It was kind of funny that James Smith did sound like a little mini Spinelli when he said greetings and salutations, which is something that I use. I, apparently, I didn't actually pick it up from him. I picked it up from another YouTuber. Um, yeah, like I said, Maxi and Spinelli were just more exposition than anything else. Now, I can't think of anything else. If I forgot anything, which I'm probably sure I did, uh, write it in the comment section. Or better yet, come to the live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. We'll talk about all the shows, General Hospital, Days of My Lives, Beautiful, and Young and the Restless. With that being said, I'm going to go. I'll see you in the next video.